It's been a very busy month, so let's talk about where the channel's going next. Hello and welcome back to Warspets Tactics, where today we're just back for another very quick channel update, a video where I recap a few of the things that came out in the previous month, tell you what's coming for the next month, a few other interesting things around the channel, and also announce the winners of the monthly giveaway. I'll try and keep this one short and sweet, because there's far too many other videos I need to get making. So I must admit, January really seems to have hit like a truck. I think out of all the time I've been making videos on YouTube, this has been the single month where there's been the most content released for 40k. It seems like I've been going into kind of rolling news mode for the most part. Just endless previews, leaks and rumours coming out of the Gene Steel and Custodes Codex. All the constant leaks and previews for the Eldari Codex, including all of those playtest rules. Then while all that's going along, Chapter Approved changed all the points in the game. Loads to talk about, but plenty of armies there, of course. And then before we've quite recovered from that, Codex Tau comes out, followed shortly by that Warzone Nackmund book. It's certainly been a bit of a struggle keeping up, I've really tried to ramp up video production to match the amount of news coming out, and it certainly does seem to have paid a few results for the channel. You guys have very generously given me a new record. In the month of January, apparently we got over 3 million views on Allspets Tactics videos. It really is a pretty crazy number, and as always, I'm immensely grateful that you guys are still finding the stuff I have to say interesting. I'll certainly be trying to keep the regular news updates and reviews coming. I also had a slightly stressful time in the middle of it between Chapter Approved and the Tau Codex, where I basically semi-lost my voice for about four days, Nurgle decided to have a good go at my vocal cords, and I must admit there's just about nothing more frustrating than seeing a whole bunch of videos that you really want to make, and knowing that you probably should take it a bit easier, just in case you do some sort of permanent damage to yourself, and then you're not able to make YouTube videos at all. I think in hindsight I probably wasn't very sensible with that, I kept on releasing three videos a day, even if they were really quite short ones. I must admit, I think I would have felt very silly indeed if I had given myself some sort of long-term hoarseness and not been able to record properly for a really long time. I think in future, if that happens again, I will try and slow down a bit. Fortunately, this time, a bit of steam inhalation and about a million cups of lemon and honey tea managed to get me through. In any case, it certainly doesn't seem like it's going to be slowing down very much in terms of video production. I've got a fairly clear schedule for the middle of February, so I should be able to make really quite a lot of videos hopefully catching up and getting a bit ahead of the news front so I can actually make a fair bit more regular content, and hopefully talk a little bit more in depth about some of the codexes that have dropped. It looks like we're going to have more news to talk about for Chaos Eldar Tyranid videos and plenty more. I've managed to record a 40k army tier list for this year, hopefully that should either be dropping later today or tomorrow, and I've got plenty of other things in the works, Custodes army lists, a few more Eldar datasheet reviews, and I'm really looking forward to being able to focus on some other big projects such as that requested starter army for every faction video, that I've just not had enough time to get to grips with in January. As always, looking forward to talking plenty more 40k in the coming months. If there's anything that you'd particularly like to see on the channel, please as always let me know down in the comments. Moving on, we've got the channel giveaway announcement for this month. As I'm sure most of you who are watching this are aware, I do do monthly giveaways on the channel, usually two or three big boxes of Games Workshop's discount kits, the January one was for the Space Marine Shieldbreaker Strike Force with all the intercessors, and I'm pleased to announce that the winners of those are Ruben Aceves and Henry Clark. I've already heard back from Ruben. Henry, if you'd like to check your messages, I'll have them in the post to you as soon as possible. For the February giveaway, I thought it would be fitting to get two boxes of the Eldritch Omens out there. I reviewed the box earlier in the week. It's an Eldar, Autark, Rangers and Shroud Runners versus a Chaos Warpsmith, Chosen and Forge Fiends. It's quite an exciting versus box as they go, the vast majority of the miniatures are new, so I thought it'd be a fun one to do as a giveaway. As per normal, there's two equal ways of entering the giveaway, either supporting the channel on Patreon for any amount a month, it is the main thing that allows me to keep all these videos coming quite so regularly, or you can choose to support the channel on social media by subscribing to the YouTube channel, liking the Facebook page, and then actually entering the draw on the post that appears on the first of each month, to enter, you have to post a picture of any 40k miniature or imagery with your name and date handwritten within the photo, the last bit just to deter any Facebook bots or spam accounts. From there, I put all the entries into a random number generator and post them out to the winners. If you're interested in entering by either means, both the links to the Patreon and the Facebook page are both down in the video description below. I generally do a similar giveaway to like this every single month, and I announce the winners in next month's channel update at about this time. Finally, just another couple of updates. I did mention in last month's channel update that I was hoping to look at doing something with the audio and upgrade a bit. I'm afraid thanks to having all the videos come out, I've had absolutely no time to do that whatsoever. 
It's generally always been my philosophy on the channel to focus on getting out as many interesting videos as I can, and I must admit sometimes that does mean that I don't upgrade things quite as quickly. Hopefully this time in February should allow me to spend a little bit more time on it. In terms of the two microphones that I have, in general the feedback seemed to be that this microphone was about equal to the other one that I was briefly using, and the primary issue isn't really the mic, but what I'm doing with the audio input. Hopefully I'll have something to report back to you with this in the next couple of months. Finally, just to quickly mention that the painting competition is still running over on the channel Discord server. It's really cool to see the amount of entries that we've had, and a couple of people are starting to submit their finished entries. Here's a Valyrian by Method Man, and a Broadside by Pomon. Valyrian's looking very cleanly executed indeed, and I always like to see the far side enclaves being represented on the tower side. If you're interested in taking part and having a pop with some of your unpainted models, the link to the channel Discord server is down in the video description below. There's plenty of stuff going on there, channels to discuss a whole load of topics throughout 40k, and places where you can discuss the videos or leave suggestions for me. For the painting contest, you merely have to submit some unpainted models alongside your name and the day's date in the contest entrance section. Then when you're done with your handiwork, you get to post similar in the final submission section, and there's some small prizes for the winners, a character miniature of your choice plus some paints, and the top 10 will all be showcased on the channel, the eventual winner being determined by public vote. The deadline's the 31st of March, so there's still an enormous amount of time to enter. As always, it's a real treat to see some pictures of some really nicely painted miniatures. In any case, I think that's just about it for the channel update. As always, a massive thank you to every one of you watching. The views, likes, subscribes and comments all really help push the channel forward. And a special thank you to anyone who's supporting the channel either on YouTube members or Patreon. As always, I'm looking forward to making plenty more videos in the coming months. So I'll hope to see you guys next time.